created a linear model. If you want to have two rows and two column plots, there's a function called PARMF row equals C within parenthesis two comma two, two rows and two columns. So that means if I run this line here, after that, any plot that I plot, it will try to have four plots together. So let's plot the model that we created by using plot model and you immediately get these plots. When we make a model, sometimes we have to do predictions and you can predict using predict function. We have to specify what is our model named as. We named our model as model. And then what do you want to predict? Let's say I'm just making up something, data frame where weight, because weight is the independent variable. So we want to make predictions for different values of weight equals seven. If you run this, it says if the weight is seven, then depression is likely to be 16.58. So that's a prediction. It's a single point estimate without any confidence intervals. If you have more than one number, for example, this is the format we use. For more than one numbers, we put C and within parentheses, we can say we want when weight is seven, when weight is maybe eight, and when weight is nine. So it will give you predictions of those three values. So basically it's using that straight line and putting the value of weight and giving you the output. You can also use this further just before data and hit enter to make it cleaner. So I'm going to add third item within the predict where we can specify interval. If I put within quotes confidence and run this, it will give me these predictions like same 16.58, 19.2, 21.9. Those point estimates are the same numbers below fit but then you have a lower and upper bound of that confidence interval. And by default, it is 95. So 95% is the most commonly used confidence level. So this is the lower and this is upper. What does a confidence interval mean? As per the model, when the weight of the roller is seven, depression is likely to be between 11.4 and 21.7 on an average. On an average, the values are likely to be between these two numbers copy this whole thing and paste it again and change from confidence to prediction intervals. And you'll be surprised when you compare point estimate for the three weight values are exactly same, but you will notice that the interval for prediction is much wider and interval for confidence is much narrower. So confidence intervals are narrower because the focus is on average. So average values don't change much, but individual values change a lot. How do you do interpretation of a prediction interval? If you consider the first one, if the weight is seven, depression is likely to be between 0.22 and 32.9. This prediction interval is for single value, but confidence interval are for averages. And that's why you see the big difference. So that's why sometimes confidence interval is called narrow interval and prediction interval is called wide interval. Somebody may ask, should I use confidence interval or should I use a prediction interval? The one you are going to use will depend on what is the context. If the context is about a single value, we should use prediction. But if the context is about average of something, we should use confidence interval 